and today is election day in Missouri. But it also marks the deadline to apply for a ballot in a special mail-in election dedicated to the streetcar. So this is a bit of a process. We have you covered here. Hi, right, 41 Action News reporter Charlie Keegan joins us to explain how you can get a ballot, what the vote covers. Charlie, you had to do this for yourself yesterday. Talk about how it works. Yeah, Taylor actually went and got myself and uh, filled out an application myself and submitted my name to uh, get a ballot for this mail-in election. But it's all about paying for the streetcar expansion. We've already, our voters have already approved uh, expanding the streetcar beyond Union Station here, going the opposite direction down south on Main Street toward UMKC. The plan for the streetcar has in mind that'll be on the ballot is to use the same funding structure that it uses for the downtown section of the streetcar to pay to operate the expanded streetcar system. That means using a special uh, sales tax and property assessment. But there's a group called Be Smart KC, which says this is not a good way to fund that. They say it unfairly costs the city and people who live near the tracks more money. And they say that the whole mail-in voting procedure is just not easy. But as far as funding goes, the streetcar says it will apply for grants to offset the local costs. What we've done on the downtown line and what we'll do with this extension is apply for federal and state money. Um, and in our application, we'll show that there is a local funding support system there, um, which makes applications a little bit more um, attractive for federal money. Since today is the deadline to apply for that special mail-in ballot, you'll have to actually print out an application and physically go down to the Jackson County Courthouse, go to the third floor, and hand in your application by 5 o'clock today to make sure that you get a ballot in the mail, and then you'll figure, fill it out and then mail it back. But there's only a select group that are eligible to vote in this mail-in ballot. You have to live within a special transportation district that goes basically from the Missouri River in the north down to 53rd Street from State Line Road on the west to Campbell Street over on the Missouri side and the east side of that boundary. Reporting live in Kansas City, Missouri, I'm Charlie Keegan, 41 Action News Today.